Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy and today I'll be reviewing the Britney. Okay, so one mistake that a lot of people make with the Britney, probably the most common mistake that everybody makes, and as a dog professional, I'm a little embarrassed to say that I made the same mistake. For years now, I was thinking that the Britney was named after Britney Spears. Not true. They were not named in the honor of Britney Spears. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, obviously. Obviously they were. Now there is a mistake that a lot of people do make and they refer to these guys as Britney Spaniels and they're not a Spaniel, they're not the Britney Spaniel, they're just the Britney. Just go up to somebody who really loves Britneys and say, oh, Britney Spaniel, I love it, and then just walk away. But they are not a Spaniel, they are just a Britney and they were originally bred as a gun dog. They're more similar to setters and pointers. Used primarily to hunt birds. Nowadays still use a lot by hunters and also as a family companion. Not a very big dog. Great option for people who like the smaller of the hunting dogs. Beautiful white and orange or, or orange or rusty or liver or, you know what, I don't really, you know what, it doesn't really matter. Whatever color you think this is, right here, can you see it? I call it orange. Some people call it red. Some people call it liver. Some people get upset if you don't call it the right one. I don't know why, it doesn't really matter, but to some people it does. Now, a lot of times, the reason why people do think of them as, as spaniels, they do have a spaniel look to them, especially in their ears. Spaniel people are freaking out right now. They're like, they look nothing like spaniels. They don't look a thing like them. You don't know what you're talking about. There's no such thing as spring of rage. How dare you? Relax. Calm down. They definitely look like a spaniel. That's why people call them that. All right, calm down. You can see where they would get it from. You see how they got the longer hair on the ears here. Beautiful, very nice. They're a medium-sized dog, like I said. They're not very big, 30 to 40 pounds. All right, so what do you say? Why don't we get into the review and let's talk about health. Very very healthy breed. Not a ton of health issues with these guys. Typical of a lot of breeds, they can suffer from hip dysplasia, unfortunately. Although it's not super common. And I guess for me, the second highest worry that I would have with these guys for health would be epilepsy. Again, another common thing that you see in a lot of dogs today. So other than that, not a ton of health issues with these guys. They live an average lifespan of about 12 and a half years old, which is very, very good. So for overall health for these guys, I'm gonna give them a five. All right, so let's get into temperament. For the most part, these dogs are very sweet, loving, not aggressive dogs. Usually they get along quite well with other dogs, people, kids, but with most high energy dogs, I find that if they're not given the right amount of exercise, like I've talked before, you don't give them enough exercise, they can get a little weird. What I have found that most temperament issues with these guys, it's just due to lack of exercise. Not giving the right amount of exercise for these guys will certainly affect the temperament. And the main way that I've seen is nervousness, being shy, skittish, if you will. But I feel like when, in most cases that, you know, however a dog should be, however a dog can be, as far as good temperament, we can increase those chances or we can decrease those chances, right? So with these guys, if you want to increase the chances of this dog having a good temperament and being good with kids, being good with other dogs, being good with strangers, then you gotta make sure that you give them enough exercise. So for overall temperament for the Brittany Spaniel, just kidding, the Brittany Spaniel, I'm only kidding, it's the Brittany Spaniel, I know. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, overall score of temperament for the Brittany Spaniel is a 4.2. I'm gonna get a little technical, what are you gonna do? Okay, now let's move right into activity because we just kind of talked about it for a little bit. Like I said, they are a hunting dog, they still use a lot today to hunt birds. Like I've said many times in my videos before you guys, really one thing that you wanna do if you have a hunting dog, you want to simulate that sort of hunt or hunt it. Okay, uh, because that's what they were bred for. So if you can do an activity they were bred for, they were designed for, it's gonna make your life a lot easier on it. They need about a solid hour a day, minimum. And by an hour a day, I don't mean just like an hour walk down the street to go say hi to Betsy and Dottie. I mean like chasing it when it jumps off the couch every five seconds. Be right back. An hour of vigorous exercise, meaning the dog needs to be off leash and needs to be running. If you're not getting yelled at by at least three people a day during their exercise, then you're doing it wrong. You really need to have somebody just scream at you, put your dog on lead. You know, you, you want to scare somebody maybe, they think it's a coyote, they, you know, then it doesn't hurt them, it doesn't scare them like emotionally where they, they live with it down the road. I mean just, you know, like a quick jump, you know, where they get, like they jump for a second, they get irrationally angry for about 30 seconds and they kind of like, okay, it's not a big deal, okay, I'm sorry, could you just put your dog on a leash and you say, yeah, no problem, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And uh, they go, yeah, I know, but you know, I saw you here yesterday and you said the same thing. And uh, you go, this time I mean it. No, don't let anybody get hurt. Be careful, you don't get sued, but you do need somewhere for it to run. Again, you don't necessarily have to go hunting, but you can simulate it. You can go on off season, you can take your dog, put a little bell on it, make him feel like a hunter. Again, as I've talked before too about different dogs was like agility. This is a great dog for agility. Overall activity for these guys, I'm gonna give them a five. 
I give him more than if I could, but it's the highest we go is five. Very, very high energy dog. Make a great dog for people who are very active. You know, people who like to bike ride, people who are psychopaths and want to run. You know, things like that, good dog for those people. Okay, so next up, let's talk about trainability. Like I said, with these guys, you want an hour of vigorous exercise. Some people are saying, oh, well, hold on, Liam. My Brittany will take off running and I'll never see it again. I understand that, and that's why we're going to talk about training. And I would say you want to focus a lot of your training on, obviously, you know, your basics first. I thought the thing just, I thought my, I thought my camera just died. I got irrationally angry for a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. So you want to start them off in training. You need to get them off. You need to get them to a training program right away. Obviously with basics, you want your basic obedience down first. Next importance would be, would be off leash training. And, and to me, that is the most valuable training there is, in my opinion. In my opinion, working with dogs, off leash training, the most valuable. Nobody likes to chase a dog. Nobody wants to worry about the dogs if it runs away. But if you can have your dog off leash trained to you, to come when it's called, to stay when it should stay, to not go chasing off after something when you don't want to. If you can do that, that means you have control of your dog. And that means you've worked really hard to do that. And believe me, it's very hard to do that. What I want to say is these guys are very trainable dogs. They're very smart and they want to please. I think confidence is a big thing for people. It's just be confident that you can train it to be off leash. Look for a trainer, uh, do your research, work hard, put in the effort. It, you'll definitely be able to get there with these guys because like I said they are very smart they're very trainable dogs okay so for trainability for these guys I'm gonna give them a five now they, like I said they are very smart however they are also very very energetic they have a lot of energy so with high energy dogs it can be a little bit harder to train them because they're just always ready to go all right guys that's it that's the Brittany Spaniel just kidding it's the Brittany relax this is Ranger very very good boy very high energy dog 11 times off the couch today might have set a record I'm not sure let's recap real quick let's talk about some pros of the dog not a very big dog, 30, 40 pounds. You don't need a very big house. You don't need a very big car for these guys. They're easy to travel with, easy to live with. Their coats do shed, but not a ton. They're not a dog that needs a ton of grooming. They do require weekly brushing, baths, unless you like the smell of gross dogs. They're a pretty dog. They're, for the most part, very, very sweet, loving, make really good companion dogs for families as well. Generally really good with families, good with kids and other dogs. They're a smart breed. They can be trained. They do take a little bit more time than some dogs. And again, like I said, if you're a highly active person, then this is a great fit for you. If you're looking for a dog that can accompany you on your adventures outside, then the Brittany would make a really, really good fit. Now, moving into some cons for this guy, again, very, very active breed. I would say that's going to be a lot for most people. They're highly, highly active. A lot of people underestimate the amount of activity that these guys do need. Thinking about getting this breed, like I always say, be honest with yourself. Are you or you and your family active enough for this breed? If your kids are telling you that they're going to take the dog out and exercise, it, they're lying to you. They're lying. Your kids are lying to your face. It's not going to happen. It never does. The kids never do it. I'm talking to you, mom and dad. You guys are going to be the ones out there in the rain, in the cold, going to kids got this for the kids. You kids, you guys said you wanted it. First, you loved the dog when it was a puppy. Now it's full grown and needs to go out in the rain. Nobody wants to take it out. If you're not willing to go out there and, and be outside every single day, no matter the weather, like the mailman, if you don't want to do that stuff, then then stay away from the Brittany. Other than that, guys, really love this breed a lot. I think they're a beautiful dog, especially when they're like this. Super happy to be able to work with this breed. Just really love these guys a lot. All right, guys, so that's it. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I just want to say, I know I say it all the time, but I truly mean it, you guys. The comments have been awesome. I love reading them. I try to get back to them as much as possible. Just finished Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving if you're from the US. If you really hope you guys had a really fun and awesome day with your own dogs. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you. I, I, I